I honestly believe some people have forgotten they can change their team to make it weaker. I mean, we have DFIs for a reason, but, you know, what do I know? But hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze, and it is starting sooner than I expected. And what is that? Well, we're gonna, let's go ahead and take a look at these little patch notes here. Uh, everything is combining, so rip hero mode. Hero mode will no longer exist, and buster mode will just be combined with hero mode, and there will just be like one normal mode. So there won't be any heroes or busters, it's just gonna be like all one normal mode. So yeah, it's gonna be happening for arena, tag, it's gonna be happening for um, tower as well. But there is a good side to this, tower is going to be reset for us, so that means we're going to be able to earn some more prizes doing doing it like all over again. So if you guys have beaten like Buster, which is pretty possible, if you guys have gotten like pretty much through most of Hero, which is kind of impossible, but you got somewhere. You got all those prizes and everything. Now it's going to reset and you're going to have a chance to get even more prizes pretty much. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I'll probably do a video. Probably a long video on that one whenever it like combines. But I was hoping they would wait this off until my Margaret was here, but you know I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and see what is coming soon though. Because they also have a coming soon part one. And what is coming is four new trans, and that is Margaret and How. And the flaming wizard that I was hoping would be weighted off because of her retarded damage and burning, but you know they decided she needed to be out there right now. <laughs> and along with the close to God Hiller princess, I mean that's gonna be annoying in PvP. She's gonna be quite annoying because she's really powerful in PvP. Alright, next we are going to have the ultimate trans system. So, trans are going to be able to go from max to ultimate and get their next ultimate skill like, like passive or whatever. <laughs> but when this is released, you guys are going to have to spend a lot more allies and a lot more trans essence. So, have fun with that. I know I won't. <laughs> Next, we're going to have screen protection mode, which I'm not really sure what that is. If you guys know what that is, do let me know. Then there's going to be a mode combination, which is pretty much coming next week on the 26th. Then there will be tower renewal, which will come on the 26th. Then there's going to be the expansion to the link system, which I'll put up a picture here, because this is also going to be just like the Korean version. And improved inventory, which I'm pretty sure is the Korean version where you can pretty much go between like each of your characters inventory from just one character it's pretty much like you could be inside your archer but you can still look inside of your other characters like inventory and everything then they're gonna be updating the attendance for new players or returning players so pretty much the new players and returning players get this like how do, how do I explain it like, when they come back, they get a new attendance, well, a second attendance, actually, to actually get some rewards off of it. So, you can pretty much do this at any time. It does not expire. Pretty much, once it starts, it just starts. So, if you were, like, to come back one day, then wait it off, like, a month, it will still be there at the same, like, point, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, but, yeah, unless, unless it renews itself, I don't know. Ah, I can't really explain that one to you. But they're also going to improve support system for new players. So, yeah, that's all that's coming soon. So, I'm looking forward to it. Hope some of you guys who are new are looking forward to that. I would wait until at least the 26th to log in and get all these new rewards and everything. But, yeah, it's, it's up to you guys. <laughs> if anything, I would wait into the 26th, then start playing. Hold on. So you're just going to release this as soon as I'm done recording and I just move on to start editing everything. Really? I'm happy I was freaking coming back on just to check some things. But you just hit me with this patch note as soon as I'm done recording. Alright, 
I see how it is, Debs. I see how it is. But without further ado, let's go ahead and scroll down and get on to it. Oh my god, they waited as soon as I was done. Alright, so apparently Trans Margaret and Hal come out on the same time of all these updates. So all these updates come in one day. Except for the princess and the little fire wizard. These two come out along with all the other massive updates. Hmm. That actually makes me happy. And it also still triggers me that they did this as soon as I was done recording. I thought I was done for today, man. I thought I was done, but not not, a, not really, apparently. So we got Trans Hal here with his little upgraded wolf. All right, let's go over him. He needs Ultimate Hal, and you need Ultimate Omega Key and 50 Trans Essence to make him. And he is a warrior class. He uses two long swords. His normal passive is he deals additional damage for each negative buff that is on an enemy. So you could just pile a whole bunch of buffs up on there and then just start doing a massive amount of damage. I mean, you know, when we're doing like Guild Adventure, you always know there's going to be a crap ton of debuffs on there. So you're going to be doing a crap ton of damage. So his first at the skill is called Absolute Mark. And he inflicts a massive amount of damage to one enemy and gains a mark that inflicts 500 damage for each debuff that is on the target for 8 seconds. This cannot be dispelled. <laughs> that is going to be really strong. That is going to be unbelievably strong. So his next one is Soul Gluttony. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Remove all of the enemy's buffs and inflicts massive damage. And any enemy hit by Howl's attacks receive an additional 25% damage portion to their HP and cannot use skills for 7.6 seconds. Ow. And this cannot be dispelled. Also, Hal recovers 30% of the damage he dealt as his own HP. I can only imagine what he's going to do with the ultimate skill. Alright, time for his third skill and that's called Frigid Frost and he seals all skills that are activated immediately after death for eight seconds. So that means 99 Kamel, I'm pretty sure, and Ragnarok and Black. So yeah, if that's how I think it works, they're gonna be quite, they're gonna be quite um, crippled if they go up against a house. And increases their received damage by 50%. This cannot be dispelled. So yeah, Hal is pretty good at PvP. His passives, Plague Explosion. During normal attacks, Finrari, Finrari, Fin, Finra, Rebuild, inflicts 300 bleed damage for 11 seconds. That cannot be dispelled. Additionally, Finrar. All right, Debs, Swallow Souls while preventing a death revive. Oh, so he pretty much keeps everybody dead once they die. So a no more annoying like resurrections. That's that's really nice to see. This effect disappears if Fimrar leaves the battlefield. So if you take him out, then you won't have to worry about it. All right, the next one's called Destruction. Increase all melee damage for the party by 20% and increases the incoming damage of melees by 30% for enemies. Also, your melees are increased for each boat inside your party. For every time enemies die, Hal's attack increases by 380%. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> for 15 seconds. And... His received damage is decreased by 10%. This stacks for 5 times and cannot be dispelled. God, there's a lot of things that cannot be dispelled on this fan, and that's gonna be horrific. Alright, his next skill, which I'm pretty sure is his max skill. If Hal receives damage that is more than 35% of his stamina, he will receive 25% damage and magic damage received on party members decreased by 40%. The ultimate mark is times two. All damage received while Hal is radiant. Ultimate energy decreases by 70% and becomes immune to all debuffs and 
decreases all enemy magic damage by 45%. Okay. I don't want to go up against any teams that have Howl now. I was just saying that now. God, what could his ultimate skill be? Enemies hit by Howl's ultimate mark will be cast by a death sentence diva. Oh my god, no, not this again. This effect cannot be dispelled. Also, using ultimate energy skill increases all party members' physical damage by 30%. Mm hmm, yep, not going to be fighting anyone with, with Howl. Unless I have how myself, definitely not have. All right, time to get on to my main girl, Margaret, over here. All right, so you need Ultimate Margaret and Ultimate Key Iota, pretty sure that's how you say it, and 50 Trans Essence to make her. And she uses Magic Wand and Orb. I mean, if you don't know that, there's you're clearly something's wrong with you. But she has a chance of decreasing her cooldown for her skills, so you can still put it on her weapons and have a increased chance of, you know, her getting cooldowns, but, you know, I don't think it's needed. I'm pretty sure you can change the weapon effect to something else. So, her skills. Her first skill is, she asks her doll to summon one trans Bowden ally. The Bowden ally only stays for 9 seconds, and that, that's not long, but the Bowdens are pretty powerful, so I think that's pretty much long enough, to be honest. Alright, her second skill is, she asks her doll to enhance the Bowden allies, increases the summon ally attack by 800%, and increases its attack speed by... 60% for 9 seconds. Yeah, so that's one reason why it really does not matter that it only stays there for 9 seconds because it's going to be dishing out a massive amount of damage, so yeah. Her third skill is what will come out, and Margaret has a chance of giving you like one buff out of seven buffs for all your party members. So I'm pretty sure all your party members get one of each at a random. I don't think they get the same one. I'm pretty sure they all just get different ones. So, it's pretty much out of fixed damage by 80%, damage by 590%, or attack speed by 60%, or physical damage by 60%, magical damage by 60%, noble attack is increased by 200%, or skill damage increased by 60%, increases effect for 12 seconds. Also, you can also cast invisibility that cannot be dispelled for 5 seconds instead of one cast by Margaret. Uh, so yeah, Margaret's pretty good. She is pretty much a random buffer and the buffs are actually pretty strong and decent. I give it that. Alright, now we're getting on to the passives. Her first passive is called Samoan Doll. When she enters the battlefield, her doll drains all enemy buffs every 15 seconds and gains it to all your summons. Yay! So that means you're missing buffs and you you just you just gave it all to a retarded OP summon. So yeah, this is another good thing why it's like nine seconds that they're up because just imagine if you like put on some like real massive damage buffs and the doll just steals it and puts it all on the summon. That could potentially just one-shot you. Having that up through like, I guess, longer than 9 seconds would be absurd. So our second passive is increase all party members magic damage by 20% and increase all incoming damage by enemies by 30%. So that's pretty good. You know, you receive less magic damage and you ditch out more magic damage. So that's pretty good. So our max passive is called Desperate Intimidation. Margaret uses what will come out grants three effects at once. So they're going to be getting, instead of getting one out of those seven, they're going to be getting three out of those seven to each of your party members. So you don't know what the hell they can get. So that's like a really good buff and additionally increases all party members skill attack by 50%. So that's really decent. And her ultimate, which is going to be ridiculous, 
So her ultimate skill is she summons two bones at once instead of one. Yeah, that's also another reason why it's only nine seconds because it's not like Sasha where Sasha has to get her cooldown again just to summon the second one. Because Sasha doesn't summon two of them at the same time. She has to literally summon one, then wait for the cooldown to summon the second one. And as long as, as, long as you got within the cooldown again, that first one is still up, you can summon the second one. So, yeah. Margaret's pretty dangerous, especially our ultimate. So, next one is the ultimate enhancement system. So, it seems like they got an auto enhance now, which is pretty interesting, to be honest. So, now we can just put up how much we want to, like, max it by, just drag this over, and, you know, if you want to fully max it out, just swing it over to the right. You know, then... Hey, you're done. So that's gonna be interesting. Then you get the skills to unlock for the ultimate skill, and so we figure out what screen protection is. It's pretty much a uh, battery save mode. So pretty much, if you're just sitting there, it puts your phone into um, it says save your battery mode, and then it will just it pretty much just like lowers your like brightness while you're not even doing anything. So that's a good choice. Now, combining modes is something we already talked about, you know, Arena, um, Nightmare, uh, Tower, Tag Team, and it seems like the rewards are increased, I think? At least, at least I think it is, I don't know. Alright, so now we got a chat and mail upgrade, which is number 6, okay, they didn't say nothing about that. All right, a complete uh, a complete makeover for the chat also has a block functionality. Thank you. That that is that is something I need. Thank you. Thank you so much for those users who get like really annoying in chat. Then you have a revamp mail, which is pretty much going to look like the green version, which looks pretty nice. You can see your block list, and you can take oh, you can only have up to fifty people. What? Come on. Ah, I, guess, I guess that's fine. Okay, so they improved your equipment combining, upgraded formations to have better stats, and they're returning players and all that. So they upgraded it to where you can see your buffs a little bit better. I mean, with all the chaos that happens on the screen, I don't think that's really called for, considering you don't see Jack. Pretty much, you don't see anything on the screen anyway, so I doubt you would even recognize or see the buffs at all. So yeah, it has the function to allow auto replay for... Wait, what? Is it just like looking back over my stuff or is it... Ah, oh, okay, whatever. Whatever. Improve the achievement display. So that's going to be interesting to see. Okay, so now we can claim all of our, you know, pig rewards at once. Then there's been some balance changes to loot battle and guild siege and guild adventure. What What do you mean? Please don't buff them again. That's the last thing I need in my life. Reduce presentation time. Thank you. That is that is something else I needed to receive all. So you could just go in there and click receive all. You don't have to go through clicking certain tabs and stuff next dungeon effect wait what i'm so confused on that one i it's probably because i'm reading these like fast i'm trying to get through them because it's taking forever added a function to display special event rewards that can be claimed all right added party management improved your bag yep that's exactly what i thought it was to where you could just go to your other accounts from just sitting here on let's say I'm on my archer I can just click on one of these and see what they have in their inventory and everything I called it great and it was the first one okay so this is what it's gonna look like for the linking system expansion all right battle room all right we already looked at that and and they're adding a new icon so she's gonna be the face of it what Margaret's not a face of it. Oh, no, this is treason But 
yeah, that's pretty much the updates from here. i just going to sneak this halfway through the video, and I'm going to continue the video on for there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and do our dailies. And, you know, oh my god, it's tag team. <laughs> you know, get some of this out of the way is what I wanted to say. But once Margaret comes out, I'm probably just going to work on her. Then, when Ultimate comes out, I'm just going to solely focus on her. And we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, Hal doesn't have any better gear right now. I doubt he's going to use his skill either. Uh oh, look whose skills on cooldown. Pretty sure my skill comes back faster than you. Yep. So you won't be going invisible for a while, buddy. I'm sorry. You have to get out of here. My skill is way faster than yours, and you're not going to get a chance to get that off. You should probably switch him out at this point. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Always has a guarantee of hitting somebody out. Come on, Tanuvia, get her. Get her out of here. Yeah, let's have a no at that. Yeah, here comes the OP fireworks. Oh, well, she was OP. Goodbye. All those misses, man. All those misses. Yeah, there you go, Tanuvian. Get her out of here. Well, get him out of here. And finish her off. There we go. Sweet. Alright, it was, it was a pretty good start off. Pretty good. The only thing is, uh, Winlu is coming up, so I'm gonna have to work on her. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure after Margaret and how they're gonna release the ultimate system. The ultimate enhanced system, then they're going to pretty much. Oh god, this could be a weird matchup. But like I was saying, uh, then I'm pretty sure they're going to release the ultimate system, then they're going to release, like, the Awakened Heroes. Tried to get that out, but I just couldn't, apparently. How are you unable to kill a key is my question, <laughs> like, right now, Ravengill, come on. I'm gonna change out this one, because this is gonna be an issue. Yeah, you should have switched out. You, you really should have switched out. <laughs> and the longer she's on the field, the more damage she's going to get. I think he really wants to kill her. But Kamala, you know, Kamala doesn't take any crap for anybody. Oh, well, never mind. She she took some crap for somebody. 
I gave her enough time to get her her minions back. <laughs> All right, sweet. All right, tag went tag went pretty decent. All right, what else do we got? We got to do. Oh God. Uh, flaming turtle. Here we go. I don't wanna. I honestly don't wanna, but I have to. Uh, I'm gonna take in Helios for one, and I'm probably going to bring in this one. All right, Omega. Let's see. Or we could. No, what was our last one we used? Our largest one was this team. Mostly because I had uh, Camel's damage boost. What? I use hearts for that? Or are not using that crap right now? At least I'm hoping we're not. That'd be terrible. Alright, now we're good. We got some fire support. Alright, let's see how this goes. Your dad chose Omega just because he also has like the melee buff. And most of the family is like pretty much melee. That added on with Falcon is going to be pretty decent. I mean the goal is pretty much to keep the family alive. I might make it, I'm not really 100% sure, but we'll see. Yeah, it's starting to build up damage, but it's like real slow damage at the moment. So I probably won't pass uh, my one minute mark, but I'll pass the two minute maybe. Maybe. Or maybe I'll survive into 10. I doubt it. That is like real far fetched of surviving that. But I did get a like a real good score inside of Hydra. So I'm happy about that. That Hydra score is is dumb compared to my other team. But that was with my Paladin. A paladin is actually really good with Asker right now, so yeah, I, I normally just rock Asker and Helios. I mean, I used to, but I don't know why I changed the team like later on. And yep, we passed our score. Jesus, it's going up pretty fast. There we go. That's pretty good so far. Alright, let's see if we can pass the uh, three minute though. Hopefully they can live that long. Now if this was probably my Paladin instead, I probably would have got it like a higher score, if anything. Probably. Oh yeah, I know I kind of like muted the Dragon Blaze like sound effects and everything. I was just trying to see how it does with like more of like just normal music if anything. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I thought it would be more interesting this way. And Jesus that bleed damage is getting to the whole team like real hard. Yeah we did not make it to the three minute mark because Helios had died. Yeah, I would ask you this would probably be like a lot like easier for him. Hmm. I mean, at least we did good on the like two minute mark. But we still passed our score on a four minute mark though. No oh, no. Well, rip Helios, rip Falcon, rip Landy. Oh, no. Well, we tried. Bye, Llewellyn. 
Pretty sure Llewellyn like put in some insane amount of damage next to the family. Uh, rip Thanatos. Well, no, Thanatos is still going strong with his shield acting like his HP. Alright. I was about to say, is he still going to keep going? Alright, I'm pretty sure we're dead next. Then it's going to be Raven Gale. Mm, yep. Go ahead, use your barrage. I already know you're about to use it. Oh, wait. You can't. Because I some okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna talk smack, but then you sh you shut me down there. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Llewellyn did pretty decent amount of damage. Llewellyn's retarded anyway. She's like the damage is insane. All right, pretty decent run. Wait, was that pretty much for the weekly? Let's see. Yeah, the weekly's done. Woo! Good. Let's go ahead and get all this. So if you guys are wondering how it's going, it's going pretty fine. Once I get 400 each, we're good. So tomorrow I'm going to get the 30 and put it inside the Titan Essence. Then I'm going to go for the rest inside of a Hero. Then we should have all the Essence we need for Margaret. Then I can get her to max. And we already have all the allies, to be honest. Like, we could literally just, if we wanted to, we could rush Falcon. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I could easily get up to max. Then I would have, right now, uh, six is one. And, yeah, I would only have enough to put in like one enhancement after the max into her so once you get them to max and the ultimate system comes out you're gonna need like six uh triple s's just to start like getting them to ultimate so yeah time to start grinding those allies guys you, you're going to need them all right gotta grab that what else do we need to do Quite a bit of things. We actually need to do this. I've been farming like so much crap. Uh, I've been farming this actually a lot because I needed the weapons and stuff from it. Well, for a for a legendary that is. I don't know why I am in hero, but I'm gonna show you guys my gears and everything. I mean, I pretty much got everything up to date as much as I can. All I need is a better shield, then I should be good. Like, the gears that I had got are pretty decent. I just need to find... I don't know which one is better. Is debuff resistance or immunity a lot better? Because if immunity is a lot better, then I'll just pretty much farm all my gears around that. Because I have a feeling immunity is probably better. I, got, I only got one immunity. I right, pretty much here's are all my stats. Pretty sure immunity would probably be better though. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Okay, whoa, what? How did I get out of there? But my weapons are pretty much, pretty much what everybody else was telling me to like to build. Just pretty much crit damage and crit chance and defense pin. You know, it's been working out so far. Man, I. I don't really see like a significant difference between my old ones since the way I was building because I always went with Dex pretty much everything. So yeah, it would have been nice to get Dex instead of um, stamina here, but you know that did not work out as much as I wanted to. I still need to farm all of these um, earrings though, just because of the crit rate. Then my mage gears are actually pretty good. I mostly focus the actual gears around like intelligence. I tried to get like a red intelligence for at least everything. I only got two so far. Not half bad, but at the same time I want better. As for the weapon, still the same thing, but just with max damage. And I actually got lucky on this one. I'm actually really satisfied about that one. 
Uh, as you can see, I got crappy, like, pfft, accessories right now. I'm gonna go farm the earrings again. As for Paladin, everything's working out for that one. Pretty much went strength and stamina as much as I could with a little bit of immunity. I forgot to show the stats here. I got 69% immunity. And as for what I should have showed, you know, everything's pretty much right there. I got it. Whoa, Jesus. I did not notice I had like 85 immunity on this one. Meaning, one of my gears here is not based around immunity. Yeah, it's my gloves, actually. Hmm. I think I can change that. Not only that, I have this, and this has immunity on it, too. Well, both of them have, have immunity. But yeah. It's actually pretty decent so far. Actually, for the weapon, I also need to change this one out. But I was actually pretty happy with the stats. Uh, if anything, I might put it on more of a warrior than keep it on here. But I do need to find a better, a better orb for at least, for at least paladins. I mean, this is, this is decent, but I don't think I want it on him because it's also intelligence. And like I said, I need to farm the rings for this. Yeah, so I'm, I'm working on it a little bit. The paladins not so great in their weapon category right now. As for warrior... Uh, what was it? I think it was on um, a man, Stormbear over here. Where is he? As a Stormbear, we have some pretty good stuff going on. We technically got 60 immunity going on, though, and no pretty decent defense and some pretty decent crit rate and crit damage. And some good pin going on. This is pretty much what we got. I forgot to put stats on that. Whoops. How did I not notice that? But yeah, like I said, I need a better shield though. Because I don't have the defense pin here. And as for this one. This is alright, just because I have all I need. Plus some accuracy. Nah. That's pretty decent. But yeah. Need to farm some better shields and better sword for a paladin. Actually, I could actually throw this one on instead. I was actually saving that one. And I, I can throw that one on. Not really sure. Let me know between this one or this one. Because this one has additional random damage. And this one has... Max weapon. I'm pretty sure additional random damage would probably be the better one, right? So yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on in my gears. Uh, I might see wrap it up here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know, I pretty much talked about the whole, like everything that's coming, and just pretty much finished my dailies. If anything, I should just go farming. But yeah, I'm gonna record my second video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.